Most of the time, yes. I must say I've never felt lonely. Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that in my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours. Right? George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by, a. Uh, Problematic woman. Well, she got you good. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Emily, tell me, is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? Pretty big hospital. Guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning. No, no, it's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. Sheriff. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. How did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But e Fiona? 
Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zack, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Ah. Uh. 